welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this monochromatic pastel glowy perfect for spring makeup look. I lately am so obsessed with just like tan, glowy, dewy looking skin and then just like a little pop of color here and there. This was seriously like the easiest makeup look ever. It's not challenging at all, super beginner friendly and if you're more advanced you can add or take out steps as you please, make it as dramatic as you want. This is like all I've been wearing for spring lately. I think it's so fitting and super flattering. So if you are interested in seeing me recreate this makeup look then let's get started. So I actually want to start with my base today because the eye look I'm doing is not that intricate and we're not going to have like a lot of fallout and that kind of thing so we don't need to do our eyes first. For our primer today I'm going to be taking the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really love this lately. I've been super obsessed with it even though it looks like I haven't used any at all. This just creates like a nice sticky layer for all of your foundation and face makeup to really adhere to. It gets really nice and tacky. And today I wanna to be kind of luminous and glowy and just look really girly and pretty. So I'm gonna be going in with a second kind of base. This is the NARS Super Radiant Booster in the shade Illuminate. I think it only comes in one shade. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this just on top, like as a primer, just to get like super glowy, pretty skin. So for foundation today, we are throwing it back. We are going with an oldie, but a goodie. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and I have mine in the shade 310 Sun Beige. And I am just applying this with a damp beauty blender like normal. For concealer today, I'll be going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. You guys, I am so obsessed with this concealer. I cannot get enough of it. It's so full coverage. And I have mine in the shade 375 Latte. My face products are pretty dark today because I am freshly self-tanned, so we gotta match the body. To set all of that, I am going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and this is in the shade 05 Fair. I'm just going to set under my eyes, lightly baking. I'm not gonna leave this sitting because I don't wanna look too matte. And I'm just setting around my nose, my lip, my chin, basically my T-zone, wherever I would get oily. Before we move on to setting the rest of our face, I wanna do a little bit of cream contouring. So this is just the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. And I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones with this. And I'm keeping it pretty high. Now to set the rest of the face, I'm taking this Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation Powder. This is in the shade Fair, but honestly, I'm just using it to kind of set my whole face and add a little bit of a glow. I'm not using this for any additional coverage. It's really, really light, so I just do like a really quick dusting of this just to kind of set everything in place but still keep that kind of dewiness and glowiness. This will just help all of our face powder products to blend a lot easier. They're not gonna skip because you're applying them to cream or any kind of like wet base. I'm gonna apply a little bit of powder bronzer just to kind of set that cream contour and just define it a little bit more. This is the NARS bronzer in the shade Casino. This is, this is dark, I know it's dark, but we're just gonna use a really, really light hand and just apply a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this. I can only use this when I'm fairly tan like I am right now. I really like this bronzer because it is a little bit more cool toned, so I find that after bronzing, I don't need to go in with a contour powder to kind of carve out my cheekbones and stuff. This is kind of killing two birds with one stone. And I don't want anything too sharp today. I actually want to look a little bit more <laughs> natural so i don't really want that like sharp carved out cheekbone look to fill in my brows i used the benefit foolproof brow powder in the shade five this is what it looks like and i actually use the lightest shade right here on this end kind of like an ashy brown i find this just gives my brows like that soft kind of more natural look rather than like a harsh Instagram brow kind of thing. Now to take our brows just one step further, I'm gonna be taking the Too Faced Brow Quickie Fiber Gel, um, and this I think only comes in one shade. This will just add a little bit more volume to the brows. I really like them super fluffy lately and kind of just like 
standing up and really imperfect. I actually, if you can see, have not tweezed my eyebrows in quite some time. I'm kind of just letting them grow wild because I'm liking a more natural look these days. So I'm just kind of combing them up and then over, just adding some extra volume, making them look a little bit thicker and just really fluffy. So before I move on to my eye makeup and finish up my base, I want to add even more glow to the skin. So I'm gonna be taking this Iconic London Prep Set Glow Spray and mine is in like the rose gold shade. I think there's a lighter shade than this. And I'm just going to spritz this all over. I like to use this about halfway through my makeup so that way if I'm applying matte shadows or any other matte products to my face, they stay matte. This doesn't add any extra glow because it does have a decent amount of sparkle to it. It makes you look amazing. I'm obsessed with this. You can also use it on the body. So the eye look we're going to be doing today is actually incredibly easy and I'm going to be taking shadows out of my Too Faced Natural Lust palette. This is really pretty. It has like a lot of pinky based shadows, which is exactly what we need. So taking a Morphe M433 brush, I'm going to dip into this shade right here called Fall Hard. It's kind of a pinky mauvey brown. And I'm just going to apply this directly in my crease. You can be pretty messy with this. It's gonna be kind of a blown out look. And I'm actually going to take this onto my lower lash line right away as well. So I actually wanna go a smidge darker, so I'm gonna take this shade right here, come and get it, and I'm just going to literally use the exact same brush and just apply this into my crease, just blending it out and I'm pulling it out pretty far. When I get to the corner of my eye, I'm kind of just flicking it out like so because we are going to be doing a wing so that way it kind of follows the shape. For my lids, I'm going to be taking this Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten. It's just a really pretty champagne-y pink color. And I'm literally just going to messily apply this to my eyelid. And then taking a Morphe blending brush, it doesn't matter which one, I'm just going to kind of blend this out a little bit to kind of just diffuse all the colors. Just make everything really seamless and kind of blown out. Before that dries down too much, I'm gonna take a little bit of this NARS um, just single shadow. Um, this is in the shade Earthshine. It's kind of like a pinky champagne color as well. And I'm just taking that on my finger and I'm just going to tap that on top just to set everything down a little bit. And this is just really glittery and frosty. Taking the blending brush we used on all of the matte shades, I'm just going to run that through the crease as well and just kind of diffuse everything, make sure that everything's blending really nicely. And you can of course make this as dark or light as you prefer based on the matte colors that you select for your crease. I wanna keep this pretty light and kind of springy, pastel, really pretty and girly, kind of feminine. So I think that's probably as dark as I'll go and as much shadow that I'm going to add. To complete the eyes and define them a little bit, I am going to be adding a light winged liner. This is the waterproof cream color in the shade Jet from Anastasia. It's just like a black, cream color, eyeshadow base, gel liner. Um, it's kind of a multi-purpose product. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on a Morphe just eyeliner brush and just apply a very small wing. And I'm using a very, very light hand because I want this to come out more gray than black. If you don't feel comfortable using a gel liner like this, you can always go in with a shadow. For lashes today, I'm gonna to be taking Lily lashes in the style Rome. They're just kind of a wispy cat eye lash, but they're still, I mean, for me, pretty natural, not as dramatic as I would normally go for. Now I'm just adding some lower lash mascara and really concentrating it in the outer corner of my eye just to, again, enhance that kind of almond shape. All right, now to finish off the rest of the face, I am going to go in with this Anastasia Blush Trio in the shade Cocktail Party. And I'm going to take this like Barbie pink color here called Babe. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this 
and I'm really just focusing that on like the apples of my cheeks and just lightly pulling it back. You wanna use a very, very light hand. You don't wanna go overboard or else you'll look like a clown. So now I'm gonna set my face using this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So while that's drying down, I'm going to highlight. Um, I'm taking my Ofra All Glowed Up palette and I'm going to take this pinky kind of highlight shade here called Blissful and apply this to my cheekbones. I mean, look at that. And I'm actually gonna pop a little bit on the apples of my cheeks too. So that way I get the glow from straight on as well. And I'm also going to take a little bit on my forehead as well. So you can obviously choose to do as much or as little highlight as you want. I have a ton on and also my lights are very, very bright. So I look incredibly glowy right now, but that's just how I prefer it. So today for lips, I am going to be using a liquid lipstick, but first I'm gonna go in and line my lips with this MAC lip liner in the shade Stone. It's kind of just like a cool tone brown. Now I'm gonna take Dose of Colors Stone and just apply this on top. This is like a little bit too dark for me and a little bit too cool to tone pink. So I'm gonna take this Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Birthday Suit and just apply a little bit of that on top. All right, you guys, well, there you have it. This is the complete look. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today. I personally really enjoy this look. I think it's so pretty and fresh and it's perfect for spring. I am in love with these kind of monochromatic shimmery pink colors lately. And I just really wanted to focus on the skin, add some nice glow and look natural but amped up a little bit. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Can't stop staring.